Good evening, everyone. Today is January 20th, 2018. Today, I'm going to show you real quickly how to send and receive Tron tokens, so TRX tokens, to a wallet, a secure client-side wallet. A uh, few things I want to get out right out the door. Uh, the first is I'm not a professional. I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that so anything you get out of this you take action on um, you know you're on your own uh, I'm not I, I'm not responsible for that the second thing is uh, I'm creating this video because uh, I had a suggestion from someone saying that it would be helpful if people knew where they could store their TRX tokens so uh, for the record I am not a uh, an advocate of Tron I have never bought or sold Tron and I don't see myself ever buying or selling Tron in the in the foreseeable future. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, before you can follow along to this video, you're going to need a, uh, a, a wallet at myetherwallet.com. So I already have one, so I'm going to log in. And I already have my, I'm logging in with my private key. This is a test wallet, so I mean, this is not actually my wallet. So it's just an empty wallet, but they will tell you uh, kind of like using a private key is not a recommended way to access it. For demonstration purpose, purposes, I don't care. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock my wallet. So that's the first thing you need to do. And it looks like it's not loading. All oh, right, looks like it did load. So you scroll down, and once it's unlocked, you can see all your uh, wallet information you can see your address and uh, your uh, your balance and ETH so you might be wondering okay why are we using my ether wallet to store the TRX token and the answer to that is pretty simple um, maybe not for everyone but the way it works is TRX is an ERC 20 token meaning it is a token that was launched and it's built on top of the ethereum blockchain so many many wallets that support that are ether, that are ether wallets many of them support any of these ERC20 tokens they don't support all of them but they support many of them and so my ether wallet is a ether wallet that also supports a ton of ERC20 tokens including TRX so if you want to send or receive your Tron tokens from an exchange or from another wallet you could send it to your at your public address this address here uh, at my ether wallet if you ever want to confirm what tokens or if you ever want to confirm what tokens are uh, actually supported by this wallet uh, you basically come here and you click you know you can basically say show tokens and you just scroll down and you can see everything that they have available obviously it's a shit ton of tokens um, but the more important thing for this video is it's very clear that um, where is TRX in this? TRX is right here. TRX is um, available. It says zero, but uh, before it said click to load, and I actually clicked to load, and it showed that I had zero TRX. And you can do that with any other token you don't have a, um, a, a balance for. You see that? And it'll kind of pull them back, pull the number back. So for me, it's zero TRX. So uh, that's basically how you can verify on this particular wallet what's supported and it's very clear that TRX is supported so you can send and receive uh, TRX to and from this address um, if you have uh, well I was about to wrap up but one thing I always recommend when you're when you're sending tokens to an address for the first time I always recommend sending a test transaction so if I have like you know a hundred dollars worth of Tron tokens I'm gonna test it out with two dollars of Tron tokens first if I can, if I do that test transaction and it works well, then I'll then I'll send the rest. So that's typically how I go about doing this. Um, hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, use the comment section. Thanks and have a good night. Bye.